I mean, there's like an entire subject called collaboration, uh, where you work with the multiple disciplines across costume, uh, set construction, technical stage management, props, and the actors. Um, and it's just an amazing way to see how a show gets put together across all the other disciplines. You know, you can be in a rehearsal room with an actor and that informs a costume sketch. Um, and then you're working with a costume maker to create a pattern for that sketch. And you slowly watch this character come to life in front of you. It's like, it's so exciting. <laughs> Hi, my name's Ella Butler and I graduated in 2017. Um, and I'm James Tibble, I'm a current third year design student. I guess it's determining what is just an idea and what's a good idea. <laughs> um, you know, the, the language that you're given here to, to, talk, to conceptually uh, build an idea and um, critically think is, um, is something that's incredibly valuable and it's a skill that um, is really um, honed here but also to like bring a text to life is something i learned here which takes like processes of research um and interrogation and constant questioning that you're yeah kind of really encouraged to do here the dramaturgy um, of it yeah, i guess exactly. is you know and that was a word i didn't even know yeah. when i when i arrived here hi i'm bob cousins i'm the course leader in the ba design for performance here at night the main things i think we look for in students is a, is a sense of curiosity and a sense of wonder actually Design, any kind of design, is a way of thinking about the world and a way of articulating our place in it. One of the most important tools we have as designers is to ask questions, and that's, that's the questions that lead to discoveries. And I think that, that sense of curiosity and that sense of daring in the students to ask those questions is a key to what we're looking for. I think one of the unique things about um, NIDA is the, uh, the opportunity for students to work on real projects. We work with small numbers, we have small class sizes here at NIDA, and that's deliberately to allow the students to work on projects that are realised. So whether that be a theatre production or a film, it's a very collaborative kind of space and I think that's another key to, to the learning here. It's so varied and um, that was definitely what I took away from my experience here is, is knowing what that looks like in a professional environment. Um, you know, making sure that you're ready to step into that. And I think that's the key to NIDA really. I think NIDA is kind of a model of that, like a model of how a theatre company works or the model of how a film production company works. It has all the different disciplines, you know, or most of those disciplines are kind of being taught within the building. And it's the thing that's kind of struck me most since I've been here, is this incredible collective energy that comes together to make these productions work. I think the reason that NIDA students are so valued within industry is the rigour with which they bring to their various disciplines and um, particularly to design. In the first year, you'll develop your skills, your techniques that you'll take forward. There's a real emphasis on that. The technical skills, the haptic skills, the, the representational skills, the research skills. In second year, there's an opportunity to consolidate those skills and start to develop the collaborative practice around that. There's a new industry placement we've introduced in second year where they get to work on uh, art departments or costume departments on local TV productions or films. But then in third year, they get an opportunity to curate their own industry placement. And that could take them anywhere, really. They could be spending a couple of weeks with a designer who they aspire to be like. They could be working with a company or on a film production. It's really, it's really about them sort of projecting themselves into industry when they leave. And a lot of industry professionals come in to teach particular subjects within the course or, you know, or mentor you across different projects. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, we, we had amazing, am amazing teachers that came through for short periods, long periods, and that was incredibly exciting to know that someone was on the pulse of what was happening in the industry at the time. And, and also real opportunities came from that as well. I've worked with so many students that I'm, I've met what, what, after I've graduated here and I'm, I worked with so many of, of those um, mentors that came through as well. And it's been incredible. It's, I can't imagine going into the industry without this. I had no experience prior um, and that shouldn't stop you from applying um, because I came with no experience. And I've learned all the rules um, and then you learn how to break them later on and you learn all the skills that you need to communicate your ideas. Yeah, I think I just want to collaborate um, with people that have the same level of passion as I do for the rest of my life.